This flower is quick to make because there are only two rows of crochet. You quickly learn it by heart and can make many of them. If you want to have a written pattern or a crochet chart for the flower, check out the link in the video description. You can use any kind of yarn, but the size of your flower of course depends on how thick your yarn is. I'm using a mix of bamboo and cotton. It's sport weight and I have a hook 3 millimeters. Let's start. First leave some yarn that we are going to use to sew up the flower and then create a slip knot and chain 30. 30. Here I have chained 30 and then, oh I forgot to say that I'm using American terms for crochet. And now after the chain we will make a double crochet into the sixth of these chain stitches. So counting six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Double crochet into that. Then chain one and uh, skip one and a double crochet into the one after. And for all of this row this is what we're going to do. This is the row that we're going to use to twist round so that the flower stays together. Chain one, skip one and a double crochet into the one after. So just continue this until the end of the row. Chain one and skip one and a double crochet. So that's that row done. There's 13 of these chain spaces, 13 gaps. And now we chain 5 and turn and we will be having a whole lot of stitches into e in each of these gaps, sp chain spaces, so we'll just need to fit them in. And it will, it will be all trebles this row, so you need two yarn overs and a treble into this chain space. and chain two and again a treble into the same space as before. Chain two and a treble. So for half of the this row that this is what we are repeating and you need to have four trebles inside each of these and now I only have three and then always chain two in between. So that means one more treble into this here same space. Now there's four and two chain stitches again, chain two and the next treble goes into the top of the double crochet of the previous row. So a treble there. And uh, this is now what we are going to repeat. Always chaining two and then having four trebles inside the chain space and always one that attaches to the top of the double crochet. I'll make one more now. Chain two, two yarn overs, treble into the space, chain two, and the treble 
this was the second one chain two treble and that was the third one and chain two and a fourth treble and uh, chaining two and after the fourth one in the space we'll make the next treble into the double crochet right and continue like this but only until about half of this so you can count from the end that the last seven chain spaces will be different so one two three four five six seven and you just do these one two three four like we did there now and this is what it looks like so it curls quite a bit one more time chain two and from now on we will be having three trebles into each of the chain spaces and we are having some picots first treble and then chain just one a treble and now this is the middle of the three trebles inside the chain space and we are going to have a pico on top of it chain three and to make the pico insert the hook into two of the loops at the base of these chain stitches and pull the yarn straight through so that makes a small pico and after the pico we are not having any chain stitches we just make a treble straight away otherwise the gap is too big There's three now in the chain space. Then chain one and a treble into the top of the double crochet on the other row, on the previous row. And each time we will have a pico on this treble that's attached to the double crochet. So a pico, chain three, through there, yarn over, and through both, and into the next one, treble first without any chain stitches before it. then chain one and a treble and now this is the second one here so we'll have a pico and one more treble into the chain space chain one and treble into the double crochet and this again was one with the big pico so you will actually have a pico on top of every second treble And this is how you continue until the end. Here I am at the end of the row 
Altogether there are 14 picots. And just to finish off, after you have done the last picot, chain 4. And a chain stitch into this last space. And a stitch. And then cut the yarn and finish it off. Before we are going to sew it, I suggest that if you have the sort of yarn that can be ironed, that doesn't melt from ironing, that you would iron it sort of flat. That way the flower will look nicer. I'm going to iron it now before I come back to this video. This is what it looks like now before we are going to sew it. Now go back to the yarn that you left at the very start and thread it into a needle. And we are starting to twist this round now and starting where we started the crochet, so not at the end where we have the picots. We are going to start turning it round and we turn it so that the right hand side of the crochet stays inside the roll that we are going to make. So you recognize that by the stitches being turned towards you. I'm using this here first row and starting to turn it round, rolling, making a roll so that it goes evenly. It looks like that. And after you've done a bit, start sewing it. Just a few stitches through these big loops here. Across. There's a few now, and then I continue twisting it round, holding on tight to this here base row, the first row, going right round. There. Now I have turned all, twisted all of it, and then I sew it so that it stays that way. That center has gone a bit, needed to pull it. So I sew back and forth right through the whole bit a number of times. Just check that each spot has been sewn so that it will stay this way. Now I think that's enough. I'll finish the yarn off later. And this is our flower then. So the picots make this sort of lacy bit at the, at the bottom. And uh, you can form this by turning it round. So there, that's it finished now. Doesn't it look pretty?